Hey everybody, I'm here today to show you how to check a car alternator with a multimeter. So as you can see right here, I have a multimeter and I'm going to turn it to the volts section and I'm also going to turn it to the 20 volts section. So as you can see right there, I have turned it to the 20 volts section right there, the 20 volts option. I'm going to place the multimeter on the car just so that you can see the reading that it is giving off. So I'm just going to place it right there just like that and yeah, you can see it. Now I'm going to take the positive probe of the multimeter and I'm going to touch it to the positive terminal of the battery. And I'm also going to take the negative probe of the multimeter and touch it to the negative probe, uh, the negative terminal on the battery. You can see that I'm getting a reading of, of about 12.9, which means that the battery is good and the battery is charged. 12.9, 12.8, 12.7, it's all good. It all means that the battery is good and that the battery is charged. So now I'm going to remove the terminals. I'm just going to take the multimeter off of the car just for now so that it doesn't fall over anything. I'm going to start the car. And then I, we are going to do another reading once the car has been started. And that reading will allow us to know if the alternator, well, it will allow us to check the alternator. So I'm going to go ahead and start the car right now. And I'm just going to actually move the camera back so that the vibration on the body of the car doesn't affect the camera footage. Let's start it up. Alright, so now that the car has been started, I am going to place the multimeter on the body of the car once again, just like that. Make sure that you can get a good view of that, perfect. Now once again I am going to take the probes, I'm going to take the positive probe of the multimeter, touch it to the positive terminal, just like that. The negative probe of the multimeter, touch it to the negative terminal, just like that. We're going to see what we get. So I am getting 14, which is pretty much which is pretty much where it should be. Um, so if you are getting a reading that is about 14 or higher, then that means that your alternator is working, it is doing its job in charging the battery. Now the numbers will jump up and down because uh, the electrical system will be working harder and not so hard, depending on what's going on. But um, basically, um, that, as long as you get a reading that is 14 or higher, you're good. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn on the air conditioner in the car so that the electrical system is really working. I'm going to turn on some of the accessories like the headlights and so forth and we're going to take one more reading before I finish this video. Alright, so I actually turned on the heat, uh, the heating system in the car, and I also uh, turned on the headlights and the fog lights. So we're going to take one more reading. Once again, positive probe to the positive terminal, negative probe to the negative terminal. Just like that. And we're going to take the reading, and as you can see, I'm getting 13.5, 13.6. Um, that is actually not, not a great reading. It should be reading 14 or above. Um, even up to like sort of like 14.4 around that area. So I may need a new alternator sooner or later because I'm getting 13.8 which is it's a decent reading but it's not where it should be. So basically that is how to check a car alternator with a multimeter. Check the battery voltage with the multimeter when the car is not running and it should be somewhere around 12.6 or higher 12.6, 12.7, 12.8 Start the car and check the reading once again and you should get around 14 or higher. As you can see right here, I am not getting 14 or higher anymore. Um, I am getting lower numbers. Now, it could be the terminals of the multimeter. Um, the fact that they might be dirty it could uh, be affecting it. So I will take another reading with a different multimeter. Um, but it should be 14 or higher. If you, if you are looking to see if your alternator is good, you should be getting a reading of 14 or higher. Any lower, um, anything significantly lower, and it could mean that there's an issue with your alternator or you might need a new one sooner or later. So as you can see, I'm getting a 13, 
somewhere around there. I may need an alternate. Uh, I may need a new alternator sooner or later. Um, and that's basically it. In this video, I have shown you how to check your car's alternator with a multimeter. I have walked you through the process in a step-by-step -step manner. And that's all I have for you today. Thanks for watching.